Hello, in this video, I will be talking about aromatase inhibitors and abnormal cholesterol levels. Before I go on, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put out new content all the time, including based on suggestions from you, which this video came from. One of you asked us to cover aromatase inhibitors and high cholesterol. So why would aromatase inhibitors be related to cholesterol? Well, estrogen is involved in lipid or fat metabolism, and when people go on an aromatase inhibitor, their estrogen level falls dramatically to almost unmeasurable levels. And estrogen actually keeps cholesterol low. So when our ovaries stop working and we go through menopause, estrogen levels fall, and this is one reason we see higher cholesterol the older we get. Aromatase inhibitors will lower that even more. And for some people, that can raise their cholesterol. So our cholesterol levels, cholesterol is actually made by the liver. It's an important part of what the liver does. We need cholesterol and other lipids for cell function. We need things to be able to transport across our cell membranes under healthy conditions. When we see higher cholesterol, however, you'll often hear about what your LDL is and what your HDL is. And H stands for high density lipoproteins. And the way to remember that it's good cholesterol is because H could stand for healthy. So this is your healthy cholesterol and you want it to be higher. Ways of increasing HDL, actually the main way to increase HDL is through movement, through exercise. Then we also have our low density lipoproteins or LDL, and you may hear this called bad cholesterol. This is the cholesterol we'd like to see lower, unlike HDL, which we like to see higher. So when people are put on aromatase inhibitors and their cholesterol goes up, in particular, it's the LDL that can go up and their HDL may come down slightly. I am not convinced that's from the aromatase inhibitor. I think that may be due to changes in movement and exercise because of the pain of aromatase inhibitors. So it's not a direct effect. It's probably mediated through a decrease in activity level, which is very common and paradoxically more movement helps with the pain from aromatase inhibitors. You may wanna check out our video about that. When people go on aromatase inhibitors and see their cholesterol go up, it's most often people who already had high cholesterol or borderline where it was still in the okay range, but it was close to where we might want to intervene. Diagnosed with breast cancer? Meet Yerba, your guide to personalized treatment options. Each option is specifically tailored to the unique characteristics of your tumor. Sign up today at yerba.com to take control of your breast cancer journey. When we talk about intervening with cholesterol, we talk about things like increasing movement to get that HDL up, and we talk about decreasing certain foods. So a low cholesterol diet is something that might be offered to you. If you have a family history of, hyper, of high cholesterol, however, it looks as though diet alone is unlikely to be enough to keep your cholesterol lower, to get your cholesterol back down. So if your parents, uh, siblings, are on cholesterol medications, it's very likely that you're going to end up needing one of those medications to keep your own cholesterol down. If it's borderline, if it's not a strong family history of high cholesterol in your family, dietary changes and changes in exercise may be sufficient. If you want to know if aromatase inhibitors might be right for you and be part of your treatment plan, I would love to invite you to go to yerba.com and get your personalized Yerba report. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.